Hello and welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing the 1756HYD02. This is a two channel uh, linear displacement transducer input with two voltage outputs that run hydraulic valves. One of the differences between the Control Logix HYD02 and the old 1771 QB, which I'm also set up to test here, which we'll be doing at another time, is that on the HYD02 you must run the output to a driver board. On the QB module, which is the original, you could tie the valve directly to the card. Uh, the driver the HYD02 does not have enough current capacity to run a standard valve. So that is something to keep in mind when changing over from the QBs to the HYD02. Now, we'll be changing uh, lens and camera position here shortly. We have a 1756L71 processor set up with an HYD02 module that is known good and t tested good and is known to be able to be used. We have a very simple program that just uses the motion axis motion direct commands on both axes. We have, which you will see here shortly, two uh, linear displacement rods, which is the Temposonic 8 inch uh, G series. Um, and a 18 inch G series. Um, at some point I hope to be able to have two, a match set of two 8 inch, but for now this will work quite well because this is a real world situation. Okay, um, these are both reading. Uh, you can't see there very well, but as the, you change the position of the magnet, we get our feedback. So what we'll be doing next is uh, changing camera position. Um, we'll get into how it's wired up and where the output is. Thanks a lot. Hopefully this isn't a really long video, but it will be have enough detail that you'll be able to tell how it's tested. Thank you. All right, we're back. Okay, so we do. Have, here's our two rods. They're, they're both uh, Temposonic G series, and as you can see, they've got the adapters on them. Um, we go from the DIN connector to the larger connector. Now, these connectors here were originally used with the old Tempo 2s and Tempo 1s, which was, uh, is, was and still is in a lot of places an industry standard. This adapter cable right here changes from the one style to the other. It's, uh, as you may or may not be able to see, we have a green light at the back that shows it's powered up and ready to go. So, which module you use, is, um, which Temposonic rod you use, is entirely up to you. You have that flexibility. Now, these are run, everything's wired back here to this little test block. Focus in. Um, all this is is a connection point where I've got both the HYD02 module and the wiring for the 1771 QB module tied into the same spot. It just, as a, a test bench, you can uh, do all kinds of stuff. So now we go over here. We have our 15 volt plus minus 15 volt power supply right there and a 5 volt power supply below it. When you're testing the HYD02 or the QB, you need a DC power supply. You can run the Tempo G's on 24 volt, but you can also run them at 15 volt, which is again industry standards. Here's our chassis with the L71 and the HYD02. Now, as you can see, everything's flashing green. Now, if I take and pull the magnet 
off of the 8 inch tip rod you can see how that immediately went red. We put it back on and to get that module back into service we have to issue a reset command and that is channel 0. So we go fault reset, execute and it's back online. So again, very straightforward simple um, in the program. Now both modules are wired into standard analog voltage meters. Okay, so here's our two meters. Plus minus 30 volt Simpson meters standard off the shelf that everybody's got. The bottom meter is channel 0 the top meter is channel 1. Using our motion direct commands we will put positive 10 volts onto channel 0. Onto channel 1 we will put a minus 10 volts and there it is. Now we turn off channel 0 and we turn off channel 1. And we reset both of them. So with those few steps um, we've now confirmed that yes our card is good, our output is good as we need, and we're all done with our testing.